Several kids are sick because of this candy. Take a close look. The Butts County Sheriff even wants parents to call 911 if their kids have it. Deputies also tighten security at the middle school where those kids got sick. CBS 46 is Bobeth Yates live outside of Henderson Middle School and Bobeth apparently the sheriff says the candy is not laced with drugs, but the kids still got sick. That's exactly right. Now, school and sheriff officials just wrapped up a press conference about an hour ago where they say preliminary test does confirm that the candy was not laced with narcotics or THC, and it appears that it was just a bad batch of candy. Officials say they first became aware of the issue after several students went to the school nurse reportedly feeling ill after eating the candy. Nervousness, uh, maybe some dizziness, uh, sleepy, lethargic kind of feeling, uh, slightly elevated pulse maybe. And At that point, school officials implemented their safety measures and the sheriff's office conducted a search warrant on the home of the students who distributed the candy. We're told that the student's grandmother got a large bag of what appears to be broken Jolly Ranchers from a local food bank in Hampton, Georgia. And based on preliminary testing, there is no foul play. It's based off the, the urinalysis off one of the students who took the candy. Uh, we, we was able to get that from the hospital and it was confirmed that he had nothing in his system. Um, and then the preliminary test that we're, we're looking at and we actually found the original packaging of the candy. It was this, this, this Jolly Ranchers, crushed up Jolly Ranchers. So we, we was able to put our hands on the original package uh, from the Hershey's Corporation. Now it's important to note that all the kids that did get sick from eating this candy are expected to make a full recovery. Additional testing for the candy will occur. The candy has been turned over to GBI and they're going to look into exactly what is causing though that caused those kids to get sick. Live in Butts County, Bo Beth Yates, CBS 46 News. All right, thank you, Bo Beth. And CBS 46 app users were the first to learn about this story when they looked at their smartphones. We sent this text alert the moment the story broke. Text CBS 46 to the number 23765. You can get those free breaking news alerts as well. We have a crime alert for you out of Atlanta. We're checking with police to see if anyone there, if they're closer to finding this man seen on the video. Look at your screens. He's suspected of shooting four people during a block party on the campus of Clark Atlanta University. The party meant to welcome freshman students before the first day of class. CBS 46 is Ashley Thompson exclusively speaking with Clark Atlanta's police chief when she went to the campus today. Now, Ashley, students also telling you they're seeing more officers than ever before. That's right. It seems like they're just on every corner. In fact, there were several of them over here by us where we are for the past several hours. And while students say they appreciate the added presence, they say there is room for improvement. Bro, what the Atlanta police are still looking for whoever shot four women at a block party near Clark Atlanta University. Officers believe the man in the ball cap in this surveillance video is the gunman. Because of the shooting, CAU has increased security on campus. All campus police officers are working 12-hour shifts until further notice. The AUC library near where the shooting happened is also increasing its security. And we've learned the Fort Atlanta University Center schools have begun talks on how to better keep students safe. And then we hear from our students. Today I spoke exclusively with CAU's police chief asking her if anything could have been done to prevent Tuesday's shooting. It wasn't an approved event by the uh, Clark Atlanta University because normally on our approved events, if it's a party, um, you know, we have processes and procedures set in place that uh, we will assign officers to our events um, to ensure the security of our students. Now, just one of the four students shot remains at the hospital. They are fortunately all expected to be OK. If you know who the gunman is, call police. There is a reward available here. Live in Atlanta, Ashley Thompson, CBS 46 News. Ashley, thank you. One of the four wounded students says she will not live in fear of what happened. She made an emotional plea to her fellow students to do the exact same thing. We cannot let one unfortunate event tarnish our college experience. We cannot allow one unfortunate event to have us walk around in fear. And we cannot allow one unfortunate event to cause us to be afraid. That is bravery. Kia Thomas says she heard two loud pops and then felt something painful on her abdomen. She's already returned to school at Clark Atlanta.
We're also covering the story on the CBS 46 News app with new updates as we get them. Text CBS 46 to the number 23765 for free breaking news alerts. Well, you have to see who's caught in the act here. Who's there? Yep. I'm calling the cops. Who's there? An intruder who ignored the woman's plea to stay out. He even tried to cover up that doorbell camera before he got inside. Her screams for help, though, didn't scare him away. He rummaged through her living room for things to steal. I just picked up my baby and um, ran out through the back door and um, called for help. The woman recently moved to DeKalb County from California, and she says that intruder, intruder stole one of her televisions, two video game systems, and even her purse. The CBS 46 Backyard Barbecue is sponsored by The Big Green Egg, the ultimate cooking experience. Okay, Fred has cooked mussels. We are he has cooked uh, neat po potato gnocchi. Uh, I've corn seen him cob. corn on the cob, and he's put it stuffed his face with a lot of cucumbers, buddy. What you got on the plate for us now? Well, we've got the gnocchi right here. Chef is going to finish it off. Drew, go ahead. And how are yeah. you going to finish this off? Wait till you see this, y'all. <laughs> so it comes off the egg. Just finish with a little bit of breadcrumbs. This is a uh, popcorn. Uh, this is just popcorn. Another, it's just, it's corn. It's summertime. It doesn't wow. have to be corn on the cob. It could be popcorn. And some fresh reziano. Fresh cheese grated right on there. Yep. Look at that. Man, that and it's really super good. simple. Uh, the most thing that takes time, obviously, is the, is the, the gnocchi itself. Right. But again, once, it's really not, really not that hard. It just Let's takes a little bit of time. Let's move over to the dessert now, Chef. Cool. Because we're going to do some but this, this is a... French dish, it's called a claw fouti. It's very simple to make. It's a kind of a cross between a crepe and a pancake. Really, again, we've all made pancakes in the morning, but it's really simple. Flour, milk. It's just more milk right here. All right. And this is uh, interesting right here. It's a Wait. whole bunch of sugar. Ooh, the, <laughs> the whole thing of sugar. He put the whole thing of sugar in there. And this is just heavy cream and maple syrup right here in the bottom. That's the, all the thick stuff is. And uh, there's some vanilla lean that's been crushed up inside now there here as well. there's going to be a sweet dessert. Yes. Well, what it is, if you saw, there's not much flour. So there's not much going to bind it. It's almost like a, a sugar sugar tart. We've got those yeah. crack pies, what we call them, in the kitchen. Right. That. And then we got 12 eggs right here. I'm just going to crack the eggs okay. and put them in. Again, really not hard, really simple. I'm going to... So then the dozen eggs go in? Yep, dozen eggs go in, whip it up. Traditionally, it is made with cherries, but we're gonna do peaches because uh, we are in Georgia and they yeah. are at the end of their season right now and they're super ripe. That's perfect. I've got a pan already in the uh, in the egg getting really nice and hot. Oh, do you? Okay, good. When we start it, we're gonna put a little knob of butter in the pan and some sugar and it will kind of foam up on us. All right. And then we're gonna put the uh, peaches in and kind of let them fry for a second. And okay. we're gonna take this batter but again, don't be afraid. It's like I was saying, it's almost like crepe batter. Um, and pancake batter put together. So it's nice and loose. And give it a little bit of time and it'll cook up. So we're going to put these peaches in there. They're going to be on the big green egg. And when we come back with sports, we're going to have dessert. Yep. We're going to have the gnocchi. It's all going to be ready to go on the big green egg, guys. Okay, Chef Drew Van Levan from cool. Seven Lamps cooking on the big green egg. What's that? 24 years of culinary experience now, we're giving to you nice. for free. <laughs> All the recipes on our website at cbs46.com. We're going to taste test. Oh, yeah. The other thing, the show. we're getting.